All right, welcome to part two of Greenfield Village. This is Don Cowboy Biker Ventures. I'm giving you the Model T experience. So here in 360, hang on. I don't know if I'm keeping this guy from talking or not. But this is part two. I can't show you the whole village. I showed one video, uh, part one, and now part two. Well, sir, was you supposed to say something? Well, Am I keeping you from Mike. it? Oh, hi, Mike. I'm not, this is YouTube, so. Okay. You're riding in a 1923 model. 1923. This is, uh, this is a 360 degree camera. So, folks, on your device, turn and look any direction you want. Up, down, all the way around. And he's. Go ahead. I guess you're going to give us a little tour of this town. Oh, yeah. I could not. Uh, I got here at 4 o'clock, so I can't film the whole thing. I spent the day. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Old timey. So this is modeled after the early 1900s. Right? This building is the museum and the village open both in 19. Yeah, but the village is modeled oh, after yeah. about that era, yeah, right? Beyond that, we have going here, 1800, 1600. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I filmed uh, for four hours on, in the museum, oh, so uh, I did that in seven parts in 360 degree video, okay. so people can watch that also. What would that be on YouTube? I'll give you a card. It's Cowboy Biker Adventures. Okay. Do you want to look it up? Yeah, I would. It might be a while before it's up, but, you know, I only got about 100 videos in weight. Oh. But I'm sure if I could do it in 360, the editing is much faster because all I can do is crop the beginning and the end. I can't edit anything on the 360. But... Uh, uh, I usually spend 30 hours a week editing a video. So, when you film up to five adventures a week, it, it, you get behind. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that's the Codswell, Codswell College at the time. It's King's name, 1600. So, y'all moved them in here? Everything in here. Everything's original, just moved. Except the three buildings are not. Uh, Chapel it was built here. Uh, named after his mother and mother in law, Martha Mary. Uh, two huh. buildings are replicas of buildings that were simply built that were rebuilt here. Replicas. Right. Um, the loading dock is not original. But everything else is pretty much come here from someplace. And the factory, right? Yeah, the factory's a replica. Yeah. Down on Mac Avenue, it burned in 1934. When did it burn? 1934. 34. That's when he first started building model. Okay. He had already moved out, hadn't he? Yeah, he had vacated that building in 1905. Yeah, I grew it. Okay. Then he moved the manufacturing down to another building downtown called Avenue. Avenue. That's where he made, we call them the alphabet cars, B through F. <laughs> they were more expensive. Oh, okay. So he did that in 1907. Then in 1908, he started building the Model T. Built the Model T from 1908 to 1927. And, and, they, and they got had starters, right? No, they had cranks. That Model T still had a crank. Yeah. So y'all, what did y'all do to these Model Ts? Same engine though. Everything is the same. It came off the line. I mean, this may not, this is a 1923 car. The right. engine may be a 19, picked up from a 1915 that we have here. Right. But they're all, the engines were all the same, every one of them. From right. 1908 to 1927. To 27? Oh, wow. That was the last car built, 1927, May 26. Oh, really? In the 19 years that he built these cars, he built 
That's hard. That's just hard to imagine. But they put one out, what, about every 90 seconds? 95 minutes. 95, oh, 95 minutes. Build a car every 95 minutes. Out every 23 seconds. 23 seconds. Every. That's amazing considering the tools they had. Yes, sir. Mm. The last car, it was driven from the Highland Park plant, which is about three miles or so from here. It was driven to the museum where Mr. Ford had an office. Ethel was driving and Henry's in front seat. When he got to the museum, the office, he got parked. The car has never been anywhere else under its own power since those three miles were driven. Oh, wow. Well. The car is on display in the Ford Motor Company factory building behind the, the clothing dock. Well, I get why back in the early 1900s, electric cars was popular because you didn't have to hand crank them. <laughs> yeah. Well, these, you know, the cars all have brakes on. Uh, they don't want us doing it because if you don't do it right, you'll break your hand. Or right. Something. Or your arm or something. So they've been nice and they retrofitted them for um, electric cars. But later in the model years, they actually, the electric car was actually an option to buy. Oh, wow. That's there in 1914. Oh, wow. And it's so cool looking. That's a Model A, right? No, T. I mean, T. T's were before A's. Well, it's confusing. In 1903, the first car that Mr. Ford built in that Ford Motor Company factory yeah. was a Model A. Oh. And, uh, really? It's, it's red. It's on display in the museum. This yeah, I saw it. The alphabet, B through F. Yeah. When he started in 1908, he started building that Model T. Then in 1928, he introduced the Model A again. Again? Yeah. See, that's what confused me. Well, what do you want to call the new car? It's all over again. Okay, well, that's why I was confused because I always, I always thought the Model T's were older than the A's, and I never understood that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the A's are built in 28, 27 was the last year these guys built. Yep, okay. They go a lot faster, like 55 miles an hour. This guy can do 40. Wow. Well, I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Your name was? Mike. Mike, that's what I thought. Okay. Thank you so much. How many gears did you have? I have two. Low, I have a low high. And it's manual shift, obviously. Yeah, it's a five. And I have a reverse. Just stay back, buddy, for now. All right. Thank you. How'd you make out? Do you have enough power? Yep. Oh, I got plenty on this. Good for you. It's my phone that went out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, take care, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. Well, that was a ride in a Model T, and there's some of the scoop on it. Let's see, this video is only nine minutes. Maybe I could take you with me on my way out. I'll show that to you. I was hoping to see the train. I kept hearing the train, but I've never seen the train. So, as you heard, these buildings were moved here, most of them, all but a couple. So that's pretty interesting. Again, come plan on spending a day here in Greenfield Village and then another day in the museum. You just can't do both at the same time. You just, you just can't. And they close in eight minutes. Let's look at the horses. Isn't that cool? And then here is the bus.
And there are some horses out. I saw some earlier when I was waiting for my ride in the car. But uh, no, there's the two white ones I saw. But uh, this is an interesting place. I wish I had more time to spend. So I'm doing this in two parts, the Greenfield Village. I did the Henry Ford Museum in seven parts. So if you want to see them all, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see adventure videos at least once a week, be sure to subscribe. So, I'm about ready to exit here. I guess this is where I'm going to say goodbye. So, until next time, I hope you have a good one.